Hi, I'm Ignacio Fernandez Llorente, professional polo umpire. Welcome to Polo In. In this video, we'll be seeing passes from the right, from the left, with forward shots. Though in this video we'll be talking about passes, you have to know that in some cases, one chooses to hit the ball forward and go forward, even if this means to give the ball possession to the opponent. These are cases where there's no one to pass it to. One tries to hit the ball forward and hard. Get rid of the ball before committing a mistake by wanting to play with the ball with small touches. In these cases, it's easier and it's the best solution to give the ball to the rival and then try to pressure him and make him commit the mistake or just allow your team to advance on the field. At least two players take part in a pass. One who passes the ball, one who receives the ball. When there is a pass by the left, the receiving player is on the left hand side, out of the reach of the opponents, like the blue player in the example. Short passes are much safer, like here in the example with the white player. They can be tailor-made passes, as here with the white player. And here the blue player. The blue player passes to the left of the opponents. The blue player hits a tailor-made pass to the left of the opponents. In this example, the grey player. And here again, the light blue player. Short and tailor-made. In this other example, the black player makes a long pass to the left. This is a shared ball. The first player who gets to the ball wins the ball. In this specific case, the black player gets there first and plays the ball. Here the grey player makes a shared pass and the red player gets there before. Now the red player shares the ball with the black player. Here the blue player does not manage to reach his teammate. The light blue player hits a pass to the right of its opponents. Here again the light blue team makes a pass to the right. The yellow player makes a shared pass to the right, though one of its teammates starts galloping in the other direction. The blue player looks for the gap and makes a pass by the right. Here the blue player makes a pass which doesn't reach its teammate because of the write-off and the white player keeps the ball. Here we can see the most common forward pass, a forward long clearing shot. These are shared passes. The first player who gets to the ball have the control of the ball. Here the yellow player see his teammates in front of everybody and makes a long clearing shot, forward pass to his teammate. It is important to know that a pass by the left is easier to be marked than a pass by the right. We already saw this in the auto passes. Let's analyze this example to have no doubts about it. If your teammate is closer than the opponent and the pass is by the right, he will always have a better line. Carefully watch the path of both players. 
the light blue player has less angle towards the line of ball than the yellow player. Thus, the light blue player has priority while playing the ball, though I insist he must be closer to the passing player when accelerating towards the ball. The red player accelerates to the left then to the right and manages to leave his teammate on the left unmarked, then makes a pass by the left to his teammate. The receiving player managed to have an open field in front of him with this movement. The pink player opens a gap and hits a forward clearing shot which will become a shared ball. The light blue player opens a gap and gives a pass to his teammate who is unmarked. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.